Hi friends, my name is Karen. Welcome to the room. Today we are reacting to episode two of Digital Circus, the amazing Digital Circus, Candy Carrier Chaos. I'd look at the title because I didn't remember it. Um, I just rewatched episode one because I hadn't watched it since it came out, so I needed to remind myself of what was going on. I took a whole bunch of notes. I have a lot of questions. Um, I one thing that I noticed in in the pilot that was I completely forgot about that's really interesting to me is when Pomni goes into the exit door and she's going through all the doors and she can't find her way out when she goes on the wall at one point there's a sign that says C and A and my brain automatically went Cain and Abel now I don't know if that's a bit biblical I don't know if that they would do something like that maybe there is a different kind of character because as we know, everyone is a human. They're trapped inside this place. I'm assuming that Kane is also a human. I feel like he could be the mastermind behind this. There's also the chance that Kane is not a person and he's actually part of the digital world, which it, some of that seems really likely, but then I was like, why would everyone else be a person and he's not a person? And once again, like, I don't know how, how deep the show is going to be. Maybe it's just all for fun. We shouldn't think too hard about it. But based on everything else that I watch, this is definitely going to be more than meets the eye. Um, robots in disguise. <laughs> Sorry, Transformers. <laughs> if you want more content, this video will be available completely uncut on Patreon. My social media is linked in the description below. One day I will learn how to put it on here, but I don't know how to do that yet. Like and subscribe for more. You guys, I need to shout out um, the people who have left comments. You guys have been so nice in the comments. Uh, somebody asked what my pronouns are, just so everybody can see. My pronouns are he, they. Um, I'm trans mask identified. Um, those are the basics. So yeah, you guys have been so super nice in the comments and I'm, I forget to read them, but I do try and read them and reply to as many as I can. Um, I know sometimes it, it goes a long time in between, but I'm, I'm getting to them. Um, but I, I really, really appreciate it. Enough rambling. We're gonna, oh God, I've been talking for four minutes already. It's so long. We are going to start the episode. She's wibbly wobbly. It's always a little loud. What's up, girl? Oh, nope. No, no, no. Oh, those eyes are so creepy. Oh, I like her room. Oh, it's really cute. Closer off the screen. Okay, so it's only been a day. Don't worry about the whole abandoning me for the exit thing. It's perfectly understandable what you were going through at the time, and there's no hard feelings. <laughs> You're all good. I'll bring my notes to the front so I can right here. Uh, well, let's forget about all that. It's up to you to bring the I mean, who to doesn't like maple syrup? Hooray! Sticky. Very sticky indeed. Sounds. <sighs> oh no. Bubble, you can't say that. So, our entire existence here is just LARPing. It's just, yeah, it's just like no. playing Kane's random little Kane, games. Kane, 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 Kane. That's a, that's a question. That's a question. Why? Is Kane making them play all these games? I know they said in the first episode that Kane makes them play games so they don't get bored and they don't go crazy, but I just feel like there's there's more to it than that. There's got to be some other purpose to it than that. I just don't believe that the only reason he has everybody play, everybody play all these games is so they don't go crazy. Ooh. 
I <laughs> I love the weird bubblegum elephant. It's so cute. In an ugly sort of way. This is very Candyland. I'm very into it. I love it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this place is great. It's the oh no! His mask broke again. By God. Picture of Cain. I like you already. Look, Palmy, we're already friends with the princess. I'm not a child. You don't have to hype me up. Oh, God, is that the horn? That sucks. Gangle, you drive. Farewell, good knights. I have every faith in you. So is anyone who's not like a wooden person, like the posable people, is anybody who's not one of those a trapped human? You think your mom's gonna pull through if we get all this back to the village? I don't know. I'm sure she will. This much all right, Gangle. When we catch up to him, I'll jump over, crawl inside, and shoot him repeatedly until they're unrecognized. Oh no. I feel like that violates some kind of convention. <laughs> you. I swear there was some kind of bazooka back here, but I'm having such trouble finding it. Pony, take this! I have no bridge. Aha! Gotcha! The arms are blown up. Oh, it's gonna come loose. This much trouble. Now we're cooking. Hey, ribbons! Up and at him! I don't think we Aren't you supposed to be submissive and agreeable? Move it! Hey, quit mucking about and get back up here! Oh yeah, run! Right. Uh, everyone all right? Can you repeat the question? Oh, God. I couldn't hear you over the knives. <laughs> I couldn't hear you over the knives. You should not ram them. Plummy's still on board. Do it. Uh, hey, Kinger, is that loop attached to anything? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. people. I'm sure there's a name for these guys, but I don't know what they're called. Oh. Oh. That's him. <gasps> oh, okay. Pomni fell inside too. Oh, he doesn't know. He's not. What are you people? He's not a person. He's a character in the game. What am I? Oh, no. Oh, time to question your reality. Yay. <laughs> That was a great reference. What's that? Sometimes I can hear them calling to me. Oh, God. That just sounds like murder. Is it really murder if it's delicious? Yeah, yeah. It is still murder. Great point. No, bad point. If it's murder, if it's delicious. No, he's having an identity crisis. This may seem weird, but I think I know the feeling. Well, maybe not the exact feeling, but 
feeling like you're nothing, is there, don't you? Yeah, like just because sure something's not real doesn't mean it doesn't matter. What does it matter? What do we have when you people leave? Yes. Maybe you could be somebody real there. Why are you trying to cheat me up? All right. I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. If this doesn't work, we can try something else. You're the expert here. <laughs> I'm really not. But let's see how it goes. I just realized this might be a little vile. Teapots. Climactic than I was hoping. What were you doing? You know, one big final battle, bloodshed, death, chaos. <laughs> Are you sure they disappeared? It wasn't that they fell off or something? I, I can't say for sure, but uh, yes, definitely. It's not like the boss to vanish with a clown. Very unusual. <laughs> oh, that's concerning. If worst comes to worst, we could always ask Kane to find her. I'm more worried she's having another horrible experience. She still seems really upset about what happened yesterday. I don't think she really likes me that much. It's a lot for anybody to go through. Don't take it too personally. I remember how long it took for you to adjust. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you remember that. So... Remember what? Some of them have been here... I'm guessing a very long time. Do you guys have a second truck that flies? Yeah. Is she gonna vomit every time something like that happens? Oh god. Uh, what's all this stuff? Bobby! Are you okay? Well, what happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I, uh, I made a new friend. Wolf! Where have you been? We got fudged! You don't wanna know. Good to see you, lads. This one's full of syrup, too! Oh, yeah, suppose it is. Well, uh, you don't suppose my mates here could uh, take this one back to the village, could they? I guess, since there's two of them, there ain't no real harm. So did 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 Kane send them because they were supposed to go after them because there was syrup in the truck and they stole the syrup. Um, but then we find out just now that there's syrup in both trucks. So did Kane send them on a wild goose chase on purpose? knowing that Pomni might end up in this space or did he somehow cause her to go there? I still don't trust Kane and feel like he's behind all this. Uh, how wholesome. Uh-oh, yeah. Uh, this is Gummy Goo. He's gonna come back to the circus with us. Oh, uh, is that allowed? His reality was kind of completely shattered. Like it was the least I could offer him. Have fun executing that bandit fella. Yes, that is what we're doing. Oh hey, maybe I didn't leave the gate unlocked for nothing after all. Oh, uh, Jax. He was dead. You still did that? He let him in. Well, love to help you again sometime. Bye. So this is the circus, huh? I'm gonna get used to this. Oh, looks like one of these guys made it through. Wait, what? <gasps> I know you guys love oh no NPCs, you start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC who knows what could happen she didn't know but oh I felt so bad hey, you at least want to join us for Kofmo's funeral we like to have a little funeral service to remember the people who abstract this one just got pushed around a bit with your arrival and everything. It's the least we can do to honor their memory. So, what the question is, what happens after somebody abstracts? Are they like dead dead? Do they go back to their body?
Who is that? Who grabbed her hand? Okay, anyway, <laughs> that was good. That was really good. I am really curious to see where this is gonna go because like as we said, there there is more to this show than meets the eye and there's definitely more going on here than it seems like it's all fun and games, but there's something like, there's gonna be something dark behind it. Um, Cause that's how this stuff always goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just gonna do a really quick little outro. Um, and I'm excited to, yeah, to see where this goes. Maybe we won't have to wait too, too long for the next episode. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you later. Bye.